Hello Lego fans, Jarfrix here. Lots going on in the Lego city today. Made a few uh, minor adjustments and some major construction, which uh, I showed you briefly in the last video. So let's take a look at it. Okay, starting in the corner here, Arkham Asylum has moved from its location in the harbor. You notice it's a little bit smaller because I've taken the bottom layer, which was the Rocky Island away and um, I will be dismantling that and rebuilding it to fit its new space it's on a bit of a hodgepodge base plate because um, I wanted it to make it look like it was fitting around the island instead of just being on a 32 by 32 so I want to uh, put it now on a 32 by 32 Wayne Tower has moved over here from the train station area and I just thought I'd try it as a change because I'm limited of where I can put it because of the height and hitting the roof. Uh, so I can only put it in the middle or against this wall. So I thought I'm gonna try and get some taller buildings along here. I think Star Labs might go here eventually. Sorry, Stud Labs. Um, although this is a DC world, so it could be Star Labs. The flash is there, so it fits in with the theme of the city, but it's not Star Labs, it's Stud Labs. Anyway, um, moving round, I said last time how I moved the hospital and the police station and the reasons for it. Other changes is at the end of the street, behind the crane, I've moved everything along because I've pushed Arkham Asylum forward where the hospital was. It did have a one base plate, uh, one road base plate in that location and so everything's pushed up a little bit and over here I will show you I've started to look at the bridge I can't do it though until I've got a base plate at the bottom for the water because uh, there was nothing to fix it to um, I've got three more of them on order so I can start looking at the bridge but this corner here because I've had to put this junction in uh, the museum was then hitting the track so I had to move that um, I haven't got anything in that corner yet purely because I don't know how the track will affect the buildings that I put there so once I've got the track I can then lay it and see and go from there uh, moving down the new section I've moved the terraced house a bit further along. I keep threatening to dismantle this um, and build in something else. I don't really like it. I've got a few sort of discolored yellowish bricks I bought from eBay, obviously from a smoking home. And um, you know, there's a couple there. And it just drives me mad how it's on the color. doesn't look right. And there's more at the back, which I kept hidden. Um, so I want to dismantle that and uh, I'm gonna get rid of it completely. And those are two facades which were just there to fill space. I was on the verge of dismantling the, all these because my city was looking pretty full. But since then I've had this extension, so I've just, for now, left them be. Moved the um, little cafe here. I've had no home for this recently. It's been on the floor uh, waiting. So I've just put it in here next to the new home of the museum. So I've got, a few, I've got four packs of road plates on its way, uh, the straight and T-junction. So I can get rid of those two T's and put in the four straights when they arrive. Um, do you know I mentioned last week about the um, road plates and the gaps between them? Um, here, I don't know if anybody else has been having this problem. Just a millimetre gap between them and I can't get them to be tight when I put them together they're tight when I use a plate to pull them in tight it pushes them apart so I've been um, in touch with Lego about it and they are sending me a replacement uh, they said that it's a bad batch that they've had and um, well they're replacing them anyway so there you go thank you Lego your customer services is very good to be fair got um, 
another 5550 stud base plate which is going to be going there next to that one which will finish up that area uh, made this little um, mock uh, unit let's get the light over here I haven't got any lights over here yet so that will be something that I will be purchasing soon um, I wanted to keep in line with the green and yellow off that sticker so I wanted to have some kind of corporate theme so I've just put the green and yellow plates around it with the um, corrugated one on the side and on those two plates I'm going to put the stickers off my new sticker pack uh, on those just to show you that the business belongs to um, city lines a few containers made here um, one, two. I'm going to build that. It's just still, it's still open, like when I bought it. Just like the same as that one that's open at the back. They will be um, fenced off, made a perimeter. Once I've got the base plate, and then I've got an idea of how uh, big it needs to be. And then coming down here, the train track is going to be coming round, and it's going to just go up to the water edge. Uh, so I've got. A few more base plates coming as I said earlier so I'm going to cut them and place them down there um, and then the train the crane will be able to take them off the boat straight onto the trains and the trains take them where they need to go that's the theory anyway and that's it over to the building messy area so thank you for watching lots to report on uh, got a few purchases coming so we'll see what we get and thank you for watching thank you for sticking with it appreciate uh, your support and when I've got something else to report I will plus it on it so goodbye and have a nice day